Hi guys, welcome to this video about the accurate 01021M that's a really nice uh, but offline weather station you can't connect it with the internet except the rain gauge but um, yeah I really like it uh, it has just two major problems one uh, is that the display is too bright during the night. How I solved it? I applied a tinting foil, like uh, I can't remember, 5% or something like that. I've another, made another video about that. Now it works perfectly. So I can have turned it on on the um, darkest setting during the night. And I can read everything, even without reading glasses. The only thing which I can't read, which is important, is the lightning information. I don't know why they decided to use this dark background. As you can see, with, uh, with the light on and the reading glasses, I can see 146 lightning strikes, 35 miles away, the last thing. So, but it's... Uh, impossible to read it without put turning the light on or put the uh, reading glasses on so uh, what i found is this standalone accurate uh, lightning detector uh, it has a much better display so when you turn it on you can see uh, the letters are uh, a little bit bigger and the background is and the back background uh, illumination is good and there's no silly dark color or something like that so I easily can when I push this button I can easily um, I can easily read it without reading glasses the only thing was that it has an annoying sound so when I, when it detects a lightning strike it will produce a, a very loud beep and you can't disable it permanently you can just disable it um, temporarily with this button for one hour and then it comes turns on so when you go to sleep you can turn it off the sound for one hour but if lightning strikes occur two hours later it will have this annoying beep and it will wake you up uh, the other possibility would to uh, have turn it off during the night and wait till you wake up from the thunder and then turn it on like this. You could turn it off and you can turn it on when you when you uh, wake up from thunder. You can turn it on, but then it produces a loud beep again, but not anymore because I've opened this. Uh, remove the four screws and cut through the cable to the speaker and now it's permanently muted it just has the light the display and it's perfectly working so this is my perfect setup now i have everything i can read uh, all the data from this during the night and also have this lightning information during the night you see the displays are pretty similar i mean this is the original i think this display had also about same brightness or even brighter and with the it's a large display it was too bright so i've used been using the foil to dim it a little bit so for me i think it's perfect uh maybe it helps you too or give you some idea um, yeah, if you have any questions or comments, just write to the comment section below and I'm always happy to talk about these things. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.